In this video, you'll get a quick overview of the organic acids test. I'll explain the vibrant advantage and the technology used. Then I'll walk through each section of the test highlighting key features. I'll also suggest complementary tests and end by summarizing the key takeaways and where to go for additional information. Organic acids are byproducts of cellular metabolism. Based on known metabolic pathways and enzyme cofactor requirements, these organic acid markers can provide great insights in discovering underlying causes of chronic symptoms. The organic acids test provides a snapshot in time of an individual's biochemistry. It provides data on multiple different systems in the body in one test. Some of the important categories assessed on this test include energy metabolism, mitochondrial function, fat metabolism, nutrient deficiencies, glutathione status, toxic exposure, oxidative stress, methylation status, salicylate metabolism, oxalate levels, neurotransmitter end products, and microbial overgrowth from bacteria, clostridia, yeast, fungus, and mold exposure. Organic acids testing can aid advanced providers in the detection of many underlying imbalances in chronically or acutely ill patients with complex illnesses. It can serve as a great first assessment test for individuals who have multi-system symptoms, complicated presentations, or prefer urine collection instead of phlebotomy. Alongside other diagnostic testing, organic acids profiles complete the clinical picture of root cause and guide practitioners in developing the most individual and effective interventions. Vibrance Organic Acids Test is an easy at-home urine test. Patients need only collect their first morning urine. To avoid dilute samples, avoid drinking more than 8 ounces of water one hour prior to urine collection, and to avoid falsely elevated markers, patients should also avoid apples, grapes, pears, and cranberries, mushrooms, and ribose supplements 48 hours before collection. The Vibrant Organic Acids Test uses gas chromatography tandem mass spectrometry, or GCMSMS, for quantitative detection of organic acids. Additionally, catecholamine metabolites and serotonin and kynurinine metabolites are measured using liquid chromatography tandem mass spectrometry methodology, LCMSMS. These are powerful analytical techniques that combine the separating power of gas or liquid chromatography with a highly sensitive and selective mass analysis capability of triple quadrupole mass spectrometry. Before we dive into the actual report, I want to remind you that you get to choose how much information to include in the report you download for yourself or the report you share with your patients. You have three options, summary, interpretation, and full report. I'll be going over the report that includes all three options combined as it is the most comprehensive. Let's start with a quick overview. The organic acid sample report includes a cover page, introduction, summary with interpretive comments, then lists all 78 organic acids. The cover page lists the sample type and the results interpretation key. The introduction pages include the methodology and interpretation of report, and I highly recommend reading this page. Especially the part of the introduction where it says, reference ranges have been established using a cohort of 1,000 apparently healthy individuals. And also the part where it says, the level of organic acids has a green or red highlight around the cell indicating the corresponding result based on the reference range of each organic acid. The summary shows the markers outside of the reference range, be it too high or too low, along with an interpretive comment. The summary also includes three flow charts. The upper left shows tryptophan metabolites and ratios. During times of stress with elevated cortisol and inflammation, tryptophan is metabolized down the kynurinine pathway. Otherwise, tryptophan is used to make 5-HTP and serotonin. The lower left shows tyrosine, an amino acid that serves as a precursor to the catecholamine neurotransmitters, dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine. On the right is the Krebs cycle, aka the citric acid cycle, aka the TCA cycle, and this is a great tool for identifying nutrient deficiencies or heavy metal toxicities blocking the flow in your metabolism. And the full report lists the levels of all 78 organic acids, including amino acid metabolites, metabolites of detoxification and oxidative stress like pyroglutamic acid, which serves as a marker for glutathione status in the body and the availability of its precursors, markers of metabolism and mitochondrial function, including fat and ketone metabolites, glycolysis markers like lactic acid and pyruvic acid, and the Krebs cycle intermediates, along with mitochondrial function markers. Also, microbial metabolites, which include fungal, bacterial, and clostridia specifically, 
neurotransmitter, and stress hormones. This is your catecholamine metabolites and ratios, as well as your serotonin versus kynurenine metabolites and ratios. And finally, markers of nutrient deficiency and insufficiency, oxalates, pyrimidines, and salicylates. The results are reported as both a number and plotted graphically, so you can visually see how high or low your patient's results are. If you want to learn more about the organic acids outside of the reference range, simply scroll back to the report summary to read the interpretive comment. You can take an even deeper dive by checking out the organic acids interpretive guide in your provider portal. One last thing to point out is that all urine tests should also measure urine creatinine. This is because urine can have varied concentrations. Sometimes it's a pale yellow, sometimes it's an orangey brown. Good news, urine creatinine is constant. So all organic acid levels are normalized urine creatinine to account for urine dilution variations. While the organic acids tests can accurately identify conditions associated with genetic disorders, nutrient deficiencies, intestinal dysbiosis, and toxicity from the diet, environment, and certain medications, it can be helpful to pair it with other tests to confirm and affirm the organic acids findings. This includes tests like micronutrients to gain a comprehensive understanding of the patient's whole nutrition foundation. For example, if there are hints of nutrient deficiencies or insufficiencies on the organic acids test, it may be important to assess the patient's overall nutrient outlook. Also, the gut zoomer to take a deeper look at your patient's digestive capacity, the health of their microbiome, and to determine the extent of yeast and bacterial overgrowth. The gut zoomer is particularly helpful when markers in the microbial metabolites panel are elevated. The environmental toxins, heavy metals, and mycotoxins tests to investigate total toxic burden that can impact many enzymatic reactions affecting energy metabolism and mitochondrial function. Mycotoxins may be particularly important when mold metabolites are also elevated. And when fungal markers are elevated, you may want to order the Candida plus IBS profile to assess for fungal antibodies and gain a comprehensive understanding of the patient's fungal burden. And finally, consider the neurotransmitters test to get a comprehensive understanding of neurotransmitter imbalances, particularly if neurotransmitter metabolites are out of range. In conclusion, the organic acids test measures 78 organic acids, providing insights in discovering underlying causes of chronic symptoms, such as fatigue, muscle weakness, confusion, poor memory, digestive dysfunction, eczema, and hearing, speech, or visual impairment. By measuring your patient's organic acid levels using gold standard methodology, you can accurately identify conditions associated with genetic disorders, nutrient deficiencies, intestinal dysbiosis, and toxicity from the diet, environment, and certain medications, allowing you to craft personalized protocols to get your patients feeling better fast. To learn more, visit the link in the video description, and if you can't find it, you can use a QR code or a URL on this page to visit us. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a vibrant day.